So, welcome to this morning. I didn't actually go on a walk this morning with the dogs because, well, uh, of sleepiness. Because, I mean, I woke up at six, got up at six and everything, but the dogs were that tired. They just, I was like, well, I'm tired as well. And then I, it got to like half six, having a breakfast. Uh, then I thought, laying the sofa, it's nice. Then it got to half seven. <laughs> so I'd slept for an hour. <laughs> so, yeah, I just quickly rushed to get ready. And now I'm going to work. So I'm not going to see them till about half six. Ooh, a bit tired. I might get some more breakfast in Bradford. I've had some breakfast already, but like at six in the morning. So I might get something else. Oh, I'm tired, man. I'll manage. I'll manage. As soon as I get as soon as I get working, get into routine, I'll be fine. So ah, it's here. <laughs> Sorry about that. So on my phone it says that the what do you call it? what do you call it? Sunrise is at is going to be in like ten minutes or so. But if it's cloudy, like it is now, then does it make a difference? Not really, because even though sunrise is in ten minutes, if it's cloudy means that you're not going to see the sun as much which is okay because I'm from England <laughs> so I'm used to not seeing the sun and when I do see the sun it's great um, yeah also something I found quite cool because I'm walking past um, Joe's house or where Joe used to live because I think he lives down south now but his mum works for uh, first buses I was like oh, that's quite cool because last Saturday, uh, I was running to a, for a bus. So I was like, oh shit, I want to get a bus. And then I realised Joe's mum was driving it. I was like, hello. <laughs> so I got on, just sat down, chilled, uh, and waited for the amount of stupid people to get on at the Halifax Bank. <sighs> I like doing this daily vlogging rather than doing fragments for a, ch like, for a change, just doing daily vlogging. I'm not going to always do it, but yeah, it's nice, it's nice to do. So there's a bus stop like half a mile out of Halifax which you can get on, uh, which I've talked about many times, but like it's on the Skircut Road near like uh, the, the bus headquarters. And I find it so surprising how many people catch a bus from there to settle from to Halifax. Walk, it's half a mile. Literally. So I'm in Halifax uh, train station in the cubicle again. Um, but uh, the train is coming in ten minutes. Five ten. I'm doing that because I've got like one hand because I'm using one hand to film with. Uh, so ten minutes away. Still a bit sleepy, but it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> So, time to go outside and walk up and down the platform for 10 minutes before it comes. <coughs> it's nice and quiet. It's nice and quiet. Uh, plus as well, I'd quite like to do a mile before I get on the train. And I've nearly done half a mile. All these things have been blockaded off, like, right. Look. I mean, yeah, I can get that. Passengers must not, must, what is it? Passengers must not cross the line. I get that. And it's the same on the other side. It's not normally this quiet. It's like 10 to nine. But saying that, when I'm like, oh, it's not really that busy, it's not really that loud and uh, loud and noisy, it's nice and quiet. Five minutes later, it'll come busy. 
So today at Nestle, there is a shreddy van, shreddies, frosted shreddies, and there is at the very back, if you can see the yellow truck, I love shredded wheat. And there's a polo as well. Proudly made, and also proudly made in Halifax. Yes, Nestle is very well known. Thing is, Halifax pretty much bring takes and dis takes and distributes a lot of things. It's just sometimes the people uh, can sometimes be known as being a bit. Well, sometimes. <laughs> well, I'll leave it for you to decide. So there's a train coming in, but it's going that way to Preston, and I want to be going that way. into the tunnel. So you've been very lucky to get a seat on the train because it's very busy and there's a lot of people getting on the train and I was walking by thinking there's no seats available and then there was two and I was like fantastic claiming it claiming the seats because uh, I need one from the bag because there's so much in it I need one uh, and I've got my ticket there, 7th of December 2017. 7th of December, this month has gone so fast. It's unreal. It's unreal how fast this month has gone. But I'm going to be on work today, tomorrow, Saturday, and then on Tuesday, all the way till Saturday. So, uh, managed to get my grandma something small that I've been trying to get her for so long. So she said to me that she wanted some Bailey's truffle chocolate, right? And I was like, okay. And had a, she said, oh, you can get it in Wilkinson's in Halifax. So I was like, okay, great. And they didn't have any. Every time I've been in, they've never had any. And then every time I've like gone to the staff, there's never been any. So I thought I'd come to Bradford because that's where I work. Uh, see if they have any in the Yemen in the Wilkinsons in Bradford, which means walking from one end of the valley to the other, and they have it. They have it. So for safekeeping, I brought three bars: one for me, one for Grandma, and one spare. And now I'm going to walk back down to the centre of Bradford, which is easy because all I have to do is walk down. So I'm just coming in to quickly vlog uh, to not be interrupted. Oh yeah, I'll have a look inside. No. <laughs> because right. Come here just to quickly vlog before going to work. I thought I'd just go an extra round bit. So I can vlog. because uh, it's nearly half nine. And I'm just gonna head in now. It's so windy, still, and lighting's been a problem today. It's just been not that great. So, uh, I'll see you later on, because the wind's picking up again, and uh, I've done enough videoing before I go into work. I'm just gonna watch where I'm going now. It, lighting's been a real issue today because of the weather and such it's just like not being the best so see you after five o'clock so um i'm home i've been home for about five minutes now uh having fish and chips and for a change 
uh, curry sauce. I'll show you. Now, it doesn't look healthy, but trust me, I've had a long day, busy day, so uh, I'm treating myself. Plus, it's nice to have the house to myself as well, so, yeah. So, on December the 15th of December, 15th, um, which is a Friday, I think? I think, I'm pretty sure it's a Friday. Hair's sticking up again. Um, it is a uh, National Jump Christmas Jumper Day, and uh, all the staff, as far as I'm aware, I think all staff, yeah, uh, will be wearing a Christmas jumper. And I wasn't too sure whether it was just a jumper from MS only, or you could just go somewhere else and buy one for two or, quid, two or three quid. And I wasn't too sure, and I was just like, I didn't want to buy one just in case I was like screwing up like so uh, so what I did was um this afternoon uh when I went well this morning actually when I was in work I just said Christmas jumper day are the jumpers have to, do they have to be from MS or somewhere else and I was like no they have to be from they have to be from MS and I was like okay that's fine as soon as I finished work went to look for the Christmas jumpers picked one that I like and uh I have got I've got one that is that pattern and to show you what it looks like properly I'm going to put it on to show you what it looks like so this is what my jumper looks like uh, I've still got the tag on it I should really take that off or should I just be a dev just be devo sort of style and just leave the tag on <laughs> That'd be stupid to do, Bob one, because it would just rub on my neck. Uh, it's rubbing now, to be fair, so I'd only just take it off, and it fits really nice as well. I didn't have to try it on because I know I'm extra large. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to take that off. That's better. It's really, really very colourful, Christmassy, uh, and don't know if you can see. I'll turn my light off. I know you can't see me, but it lights up. <laughs> Turn my light back on. It's a, it's an LED. It's a bright one. It lights up. It's nice. I like it. Uh, it should have been twenty nine pound, twenty nine fifty, but I got it for got a discount off it. It's only three. Lovely spend. Uh, so. I will be wearing this on the 15th, even though I'm only working from 4 till 10, I'll still be wearing this, love it man, really do, I really like it, really, really like this jumper. Welcome to Friday the 8th, it's still really windy, but uh, it's cold as well. Uh, got a coat and jumper on, but I still got shorts on. Mad, I am. I'm mad. Uh, and it's below zero because <sighs> there's bits of ice all over. So I'm just being really careful. So same location, same day, different time. Uh, I've only been out once. Done two point one miles of walking. And to achieve 10k for today, I'd need to do 4.1 more more, <laughs> 4.1 more miles to achieve 10k. That was one lot easier to say. Uh, so, might potentially be able to do all that on walk, one walk. Now, well, today, this is before I go out, because it's only like half 10. If I come back at f for like 12-ish, I can do that, I'm sure. Have a bit of a rest, have some dinner, have a bath and then get ready to go out. And then even then I'm racking up mileage doing that. <sighs> so if I don't do 4.1 miles of walking 
on this walk that I'm doing, then I'll try to get close. Because then, then, as I'm walking to the bus stop train station to work, I'll be able to make it up from that. Because the way I'm gonna go, I should aim, I should probably, I should probably get around four miles or close to four miles. Hopefully. Hopefully. Now, I find it annoying when people litter. Hiya. I find it annoying when people litter. Look at this. Is this what the call of the cats are like? Apparently so. And having seen the state of that bin, there was a bin there. Not anymore there isn't. And the bin that was originally here, where I just showed you, uh, is not there now because that overflowed. So what did the council do? They got rid of it. If the bin's overflowing, get a bigger bin, not get rid of it. Silly. That's just silly, isn't it? If you if you need a bigger bin for more rubbish, that's logic, right? Not to get rid of the damn thing. That's why that the bin down there is the way it is. <sighs> at least people had, at least people are picking up dog poo and putting it in a bag and then putting it next to it. But you can't get it in the bot you can't get it in. Unless you have to be six feet tall, i.e. my height a bit more. You have to be my height to put something in that bin. Anyone else that's below my height is fucked. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of videoing before I head out. I mean it is only like half twelve so I'm not leaving till two. But I uh, decided to have a little bit of a break, chill out, uh, upstairs, uh, have a bath and get washed and everything. <clears throat> and uh, two things to discuss. I aimed to do a 10k, 6.2 miles before I make my way to work and I've done 5.9 miles. So I've literally got 0.3 miles left to do and it's not a lot, <laughs> is that? It really isn't. It's literally like walking from home to the bus stop anyway. So like to get a bus, so it's not far, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing the ten K. But it's the matter of fact, can I do a five K on my way to work? Uh which is a challenge which could potentially be a thing. And then maybe on like the way back home, maybe. So that's that's a potential. And I've just released a video up on each of my channels, uh, my animation one, this channel, and like the gaming channel as well. I don't want to say just my, I don't want to say my channel because it's not just mine. Well, it is, it is mine in the sense that I've had it for like many years, but it's not in the sense that uh, Michael and Ryan put content up on it, and so do I. But. Yeah, it's it's nice it's nice to have that right to do that and I think I'm just gonna wait till like next week I think for like another set of uploads maybe because I, I tend to like to put <coughs> content up on the Friday and as I'm going to work people at work that that know of my channel might potentially have seen it so. I like that feeling of having people watch my videos when they want to watch it. That's the thing. <sighs> Tired, man. I'm alright. So I'm going to stop videoing and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. So I'm on my way to the bus stop. Found a train ticket in my pocket, uh, all scrunched up. Shame I can't use this bin because it's a mess. Yeah. Gonna just briefly say, glad this road path isn't icy because this morning it was very cold and a little bit icy. Uh, and I've just. <laughs> Do you know what? I've walking down the hill. I've just seen a five or three go by. Shit. Is that like Mr. Sark then? Shit. Uh, but 
I'm gonna go to the shop first, I think. The thing is, I don't even have to get a train till like three ish. Oh, it's so hard to vlog as well. It's so hard to vlog and not get interrupted <laughs> because people are like, oh, what are you doing? Uh, doing what any normal person would do with my age and film. I am getting a really cold hand filming. I'm going to put my phone away. It's cold. I'm not going to lie. It's not, it's, it's not warm. It's cold. Uh, so, uh, the train is normally 2.48, but it's delayed till 2.55. Uh, so, I'm going to be on the platform for well 20 minutes <laughs> just walking up and down no that means I can rack up mileage and it takes 10 minutes just to get to Bradford anyway so it's not a big deal 14.55 so three, ten, 10 minutes so like 5 past 3 like roughly 5 past 3 it's not even a big deal so it's alright and the lighting is everywhere So I just had to apologise then because the person that's down there who's on the phone on the on the phone through his earphones, God bless him, it was like there's someone vlogging me or someone filming me. I said, it's alright, I'm just filming, I'm just vlogging. <sighs> just vlogging, that's all I'm doing. <sighs> it's cold, I'm gonna put my phone away. So I've come to the opposite end of the platform. It's all right. It's busy down there, man. It is really busy down there. Uh, but lighting, I might just stay in one place so I can get the correct lighting. Um, so basically, yeah, I apologize to that person because it, you wouldn't know, but it looked like you were filming him. I wasn't, I was vlogging. Because even he was like, oh, I'm, on the f I'm talking to me, and there's somebody filming me. And I was like, as in me. And I put my can't put my uh, camera down to stop. And then I went up and said, it's all right, I'm vlogging. I have a channel. Uh, it's I have a channel. And he was like, right, that's cool. Sorry about that. I said, no, no, it's all right. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been there. So it was too, it was a bit awkward. So yeah, like. I mean, that's, that's what I normally do. I'm normally like on each end of the pier. Pier! I'm normally on each end of the platform vlogging before the train comes normally. That's just normally what I do, so it's just routine. So I wouldn't normally film when there's somebody there, but just routine. I know now not to do that, but some people get camera sensitive, some don't. And the person down there did. Getting cold again. <laughs> so I'm going to Bradford now. Should be there in about 10 15 minutes. So I'll be back in Halifax about half eight or quarter to nine. Roughly. So it's just turned 20 past 3, I'm getting cold, so I'm just going to go in, so uh, see you after work. So it's pretty cold, it's pretty windy as well, that shift went, went at the same time as slow, it went as quick, but those bits that went slow, bits that went quick, and uh, I thought the shop shut at half 8, I was like oh yeah nice I might get some things. And he said, the store is now closing at 8 o'clock. I was like, what? Okay then. So, that ain't happening. So, I'm going to walk back to the train station now. Well, that was a good lighting. Uh, yeah. And I'll probably be most likely to be able to do 15k. Because I did 10k before the walk. my phone to all I was going to pause it then, but didn't do. It looked quite dodgy. So uh, basically, did 10k before I started, and uh, 
yeah, being able to do nearly a 5k during work, with work. Bloody hell, it is cold. I'm brave vlogging right now, and there's a train. Yeah, that's why there's so much noise. Oh my god, it's cold. <laughs> no, <laughs> no way, it's actually quite cold. I'm not, I'm not putting that on for views, I'm not putting that on for sake of it. I'm not joking. Last time I looked at the weather forecast, it said roughly about this time it's going to be zero or one degree. And I'm not going to lie, that's cold. That's pretty cold. So, uh, yeah. I'm surprised I've got this, I've gone this long with the phone, recording. Very fast. Uh, oh gee. So, uh, I thought I'd missed the train. It's delayed. So, uh, I hadn't missed it. If it hadn't been delayed, I would have missed it. But because it is delayed, I haven't missed it. Oh, there was a cold wind there. So the plan is to go home now uh, and tomorrow come in for 10 6. Uh, so last week I, did, I normally do 10 4 on a Saturday. Last week I did 10 5 and then this week coming I'm doing 10 6. I'm shouting because it's noisy. <sighs> and I'm going to put my hand, I'm going to put my uh, phone away because I'm getting. Uh, my hands locking up from vlogging. So if you think I'm a fool from doing that, you try vlogging when it's cold. You try. And then if you're like, oh, the noise, oh, cold, I can't do it, then uh, you'll know the pain. I'm putting my hands in pain to give you vlogging entertainment. Or at least me talking to camera anyway. God, I forgot what sitting down's like. This is actually pretty entertaining. Just try to drive up the hill when it's icy. Just come back. He's struggling so much to get up it. You might as well roll back down the hill to then go around somewhere else. He's got determination, but ambitious but rubbish. Funny how we're at the, like, the top of Halifax and it's just snowy all over. There's no snow at all in Bradford or Halifax. Is he still got? Is he still going? He's gonna burn out his engine. Oh, he's got his hazards. He's got his hazards on now. Oh, it's cold. My God, it's a different world up here. It's so icy. And that idiot trying to get up the road. I mean, he's got guts and ambition, but it was doing shit. So I was just like this, come on, come on. I need to just have gone that way. <sighs> so, walking to work now. Well, got to walk to the state, uh, bus stop first. And then get a bus on the shenanigans. Uh, yeah, it's not as cold today, but it's still a little bit chilly, but minus the frosty winds, which make a big difference. It's not that cold. Just crossing over the road and vlogging at the same time. Great idea, that. <laughs> so, next week, I'm doing a bit of a different shifts. Uh, I'm doing Tuesday till Saturday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, five days at MS. Uh, and then the week after that I'm doing six. Uh, so and then the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 
uh, my shifts are different. So I think it's Thursday, 9 till 4, then Friday, 2 till 10, and then, oh, Friday, what was the Saturday? I think it's 9 till 3. I'm just going to double check. Yes, Thursday, 9 4, Friday, 2 till 10, and then the Saturday, uh, 9 till 3. And then the two days prior to that, Tuesday, the 12th, is 10 5, and then the Wednesday is 2 till 8. It's just cold down here. It's like another planet. And it is, you've got grit and salt on the floor to make it, make sure it's not icy, but it's just not snowy at all. Like, compared to yesterday, what you've just seen and what I saw, it's just totally different. Like, ice, totally icy, totally snowy, and caked in snow and caked in white powder. Snow, not uh, drugs. <laughs> It's so cold. It really is. So I'm just gonna walk up and down the platform and keep, I'm probably keep my phone in my pocket because I'm probably not gonna vlog uh, so I can keep warm. Plus uh, it's 8:53 now I think. So the train's coming in 10 minutes or so. 10. Well, well 9 or 6 anyway. So 13 minutes. So uh, see you in Bradford. So, three days of hard work, and I'm in on Tuesday, all the way to Saturday, uh, next week, uh, as you've seen, or heard multiple times from me, whoo, I mean, I've made a bad idea when I'm wearing the shoes, because, well, it's so gritty, because it's cause from the salt and the ice, that uh, I don't want to walk up and down here, with them on so I just switched to my other ones and just like shook them like like swept the uh, ice and other stuff off my other ones so I could clean them when I get home <sighs> Whew, I'm pooped I'm pooped so tomorrow not really sure what I'm going to be doing and then I think I'm going to be going to that Hanif place in Ireland I'm most likely not going to be able to film any of it because I'll be with family and it's in a public place and I don't know what they like with filming etc et but I don't know if I don't I, I don't know I might be able to vlog in the cubicles maybe uh, or like before it before it in the cubicles maybe yeah or like yeah I don't know but I just have to wait until tomorrow So I'm filming the end of the street just to show you how much or what we've had anyway. There's a little bit of snow, but the thing is it's not actually terrible. It's not actually icy or anything, it's just a little bit snowy. And the thing is actually as well, it's not that cold either, really. Not as cold as it has been for the last few days. And plus as well, I was going to try for a bit film earlier bits but I just could not get filming because there's so many people on one street so uh, yeah now to test how, how bad it is how, to test the weather we're going to turn left like we normally do to go this way and uh, see what that's like because our bit's pretty fine we're very lucky we're very lucky to get what we've got because it's just a little bit wet and a little bit snowy but it's not actually it's more like powder rather than like thick snow but like as we get further along here uh, to like towards the field I'm presuming all this has turned twice yeah some of it has already so I'm just gonna have to be a little careful here and along that bit because you can see a little patch of white right in front. Just got to keep an eye on that bit. 
uh, because that might be icy because for the last few days when it has been cold and had we've had winter blasts of wind it's been icy also as well I'm able to vlog longer and my hands are alright but uh, for now we're just gonna keep an eye on this bit and make sure I don't fall or anything because I don't want to fall I was right to stop filming because this little bit here is all icy I mean there's a bit of water there that's still not frozen over but like all that little bit is icy not terrible but uh, we can carry on now Do you know the dogs are loving this because it's snow and they're not used to seeing snow and mind you neither am I because it doesn't snow that often in much it doesn't snow often in England we have rain, wind, all that but we don't have snow that often uh, and at the moment down south are getting a full blast of it and we have bits of it scattered in different locations so like depending on where you are so like my area and like looking over the valley it's just not it's not terrible it's not awful it's just you can actually still go out walking in it and it's nice because I'm able to walk my normal speed with extra precaution to the fact that I don't want to fall uh, but some areas not so much because like a couple of days ago with going to the higher parts of Halifax like near where the Asda is they've got a lot of snow and it's icy a lot while around there where they, around where they are and also an update Queen Street is now getting gritted because the council didn't want to grit either Dean Street, Middle Dean Street or Queen Street the three roads that go down to Westvale but they're not doing they are now doing Queen Street which is good because a lot of people drive up it a lot of people drive up it and for them to not and for them to say no we're not gritting it it is like saying fuck you to God knows how many people I'm surprised that's not frozen over because uh, well it has but there's still bits that are still wet because uh, and also as well this bit hiya dogs hiya this bit for so many days has been icy and it's gone and now look at it it's a winter wonderland with maybe hidden ice under here I don't know it looks lovely yeah looks really nice I'm going to put my phone away now to keep my hand warm again now I just want to briefly point out something uh, this company here whenever I walk the dogs they're always spraying the vans and everything and they're always scared and they, they are scaring my dog but it's kind of a coincidence that they're doing that as I'm walking but I want to say something security is a thing for every company to have matters in place so security matters you can call underneath that if you really wanted to and there are windows just right at the bottom I mean yes it has alarms but that has, they've got some bad security there if you can climb underneath that bit and smash a window and then rob whatever you want uh, or, hop, or purposefully like do something else but is that real? That's realistic, genuine security that they've got. I mean, they've probably got security cameras in the building, but to have a gap to crawl underneath. Right. Okay. This looks pretty cool. This is the uh, cycling track. I mean, this is just a bit of it, but the entire the entire bit is covered in snow and yeah this looks cool man focus camera focus nice you know with it being snowy and a little bit cold I'm just to know what the field on the 
near the school looks like. Well, this is what the field looks like. Ice, well not ice, snow on the concrete bits for the, to walk on. It's not really that bad. Right, time to let you two off, eh? Right, put my phone away. Now, in theory, because it's been colder, it's a bit snowy, it's a bit icier, the field should be harder because of the molecules tightening up in the ground and making it uh, like harder. And yeah, it is. It feels, it feels harder. It's nice. It's a nice field, nice thing to walk on. It's not muddy or anything, actually, to fair. That bit down there where the football posts might be muddy because that's where they play. Uh, so avoid that bit. The dogs are playing lovely. <whistles> Look at him. Holly! <whistles> Hello! Hey Holly! Holly! Hello! What is this? Is it snow? Well, not really fully snow, is it? <laughs> no, Holly, come on! Come on! No, there's nothing to grab! Nice, that looks pretty cool. And they are still playing. Oh, there's somebody up there. Bugger. So, you might be able to just see, but that dog owner has just come through this gate and not been asked to shut it. Why? Can you not shut the gate behind you? If my dogs here, if my dogs here run into that road, then they could it could go on the road and there could be a car or something. When I came through that one I shut it. So I'm same here. But this one, whenever I come through it, I shut it. But people can't do that, can they? So I'm taking the dogs out uh, for about half an hour or so, then going back home, getting changed, and I'll be going out this evening to Hanif's in Elland. It's a great place. Well, it's nice in here. In Hanif's, had Lambuna, very nice. Uh, yeah, wearing this, it's nice, very nice. I'm gonna be wearing this on Friday for the National Jumper Day. From, well I mean from four till 10, I don't know. No, tootle ten. Tootle ten. Ah. Might have reserved, maybe. So, the day after going to Hanif's, really nice. Didn't really feel much except for just being in the cubicle. Well, not cubicle, but the, uh, the toilets area. And I'm out. I don't call it is. So I'm going to aim to be out for roughly an hour. My hair's spiking up real bad. It just does that. I just get horns. So I'll be out for an hour. And I'll probably get back home and do an outro and wrap it all up. Well, this is going to be interesting. The viaduct, even though it looks quite a long way on camera, really isn't in... Uh, first person perspective, i.e. Uh, real life. This will be interesting. Nice, the sun's there. So one thing I have to keep an eye out for is poo. A lot of it. Because people don't like to use poo bags on here. They just let the dog crap on it and then just carry on. Because uh, common sense doesn't exist within the people that let the dog do it and then they leave it 
also glass as well because a lot, a lot of younger people come up here drink booze whatever and then just for some reason get a kick out of smashing glass and leaving it all over the place because uh, unfortunately of where I live but you know they'll get they'll get what's coming to them eventually I mean I'm not gonna do that because I'm better than that but eventually if someone doesn't like what they're seeing they're gonna find the people and kick the shit out of them so I'm gonna end the video here my hair is just spiking like there quite a bit so I'm gonna end the video here so I've been David Like, comment, subscribe if you're here. And I'll see you soon with more content. Goodbye.